so previously i made a video on the requested question on csio exam but uh, he told me that actually he requested for a csio exam december 2017 so now i am making that uh, requested video so this is a question of uh, nmr shift so these three compounds are given a b and c and their chemical shifts are given so you have to match which, for which the chemical shift is which now to solve this question you have to be familiar with the concept of how aromaticity uh, affect the uh, chemical shift of any proton so for this uh, you just have to learn a very basic concept that for an aromatic compound like for the simplest one benzene let's say so you know there is a ring current there is a ring current which which rotate okay there is a ring current in the benzene ring so this is the ring current okay now if you apply a magnetic field let's say its magnetic field its uh, value is h tesla okay so when you apply a magnetic field the electron is a charged particle and it will rotate in such a direction it will rotate in such a direction that a magnetic field in this molecule will be generated and that will align with this external magnetic field to stabilize the molecule now when this magnetic field is generated in the aromatic molecule the lines of force will be uh, lines of force will be appearing from this molecule so in this case the lines of force will be like this okay so there will be many lines of force i am uh, i am drawing a few of them so its direction will will be such that it will be so like this so its direction is from uh, its direction is such that uh, for the external hydrogens for the hydrogen atoms which are present here it will be upward so and in this case it will be downward okay so this will be the direction of the magnetic field now uh, the hydrogens which are uh, out of the aromatic ring like these peripheral hydrogen atoms they feel this magnetic field plus an induced magnetic field like this let's say for for this external magnetic field h uh, and due to this ring current a uh, induced magnetic field is generated which is let's say capital uh, small h so the hydrogens which are uh, the peri periphery of this aromatic ring they experience uh, the magnetic field like total magnetic field will be h plus small h so the total magnetic field will be increased okay and if the total magnetic field will increase then their chemical shift value will automatically be increased so i am not explaining all the things like why this will increase but uh, for this uh, if i uh, if i want to explain this the video will be very longer so you should uh, read the basic uh, nmr principles for organic chemistry and um, hope i will later make a full video on this but for this time you just uh, have to know that for the peripheral hydrogens the magnetic field uh, which is experienced by them is always greater than the applied magnetic field and uh, for the for if uh, let, let's say now if there is any group like uh, we we have a molecule like this if there is a molecule like this or let's say this type so in this case these two hydrogens are in such a position that they are on the top of the aromatic plane okay so they are in this position now you can see that the lines of force the direction of the lines of force in this in this particular region is such that they oppose the external magnetic field so for the same reason these hydrogens will feel a uh, uh, magnetic field which will be less than the external magnetic field by an amount h okay so from this uh, discussion we know that we, we we learned that the hydrogens which are 
the which are at the periphery of an aromatic ring will experience higher magnetic field and their chemical shift will be higher and for the same reason the hydrogens which are on the top of the magnetic field or on the plane of the magnetic field they will experience lower, reduced magnetic field and their chemical shift will be lower now this is for aromatic compound for the anti aromatic compounds if the compound is anti aromatic let's say we have a compound like uh, this So let's say we have a compound like this and if for the sake of explaining let's say it is uh, planar so there are 4n electron where n equal to uh, n equal to 2 so this is anti aromatic system and now these hydrogens which are at the periphery they will experience less magnetic field for, so what is the effect for aromatic ring the reverse will be for the anti aromatic ring so this is anti aromatic system and this is why this hydrogen will experience less magnetic field and if there is uh, any group like this then they will feel more uh, more uh, so they will feel increased magnetic field so their chemical shift will be higher now in this question you have to just find out what are the types of the molecules so first of all this is a, this is an alkene this is not an aromatic compound this is just an alkene where uh, due to the presence of this electron withdrawing group the so normally alkene protons comes around 5 5 delta value but due to the presence of this electron withdrawing carbonyl group uh, a positive charge will be generated here and so this hydrogen will uh, resonate at further delta and it will be 6.7 so there is no confusion that uh, 6.7 is for this B compound now you, ha you have to look at these two compounds A and C now if you, if you count the electrons here 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 2 is equal to 12 that is 4n 4n electron where n is equal to 3 so this is 12 okay so this is 4n electron system that is this is anti aromatic system this one is anti aromatic this one is anti aromatic system so a is anti aromatic system and now we have just said that for anti aromatic system if there is any proton at the periphery of the uh, periphery of the aromatic ring so let's say these protons they will experience less magnetic field so their resonating frequency will be resonating frequency will be less but in this case the proton given here is which is at the uh, uh, which is at the inner side of the aromatic ring so it will experience more magnetic field okay so if it experience more magnetic field then its resonating frequency will increase and this is why it will resonate resonate at 6.4 delta okay so this will be its resonating frequency now uh, take this compound in this case 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 pi electron uh, 7 into 2 that is 14 pi electron which is a 4n plus 2 where n equal to uh, n equal to 3 so which is uh, 14 so this is a aromatic system now if this is a aromatic system then we have just discussed that for an aromatic system if an electron is inner side of the aromatic ring then its uh, resonating frequency will increase and uh, i have not told you that its resonating frequency can increase in such such that it can come in negative delta value that is it will resonate at lower frequency than even tms so this is uh, reflected here it's it resonate at minus uh, minus uh, 0 0.61 delta so this is this will be its, uh, its frequency so this this is the solution of this question and uh, you may find some example where the um, resonating frequency is even lower like minus uh, 20 or above minus 20 or less so you can find them in the Clayton book
so this is the whole discussion and i think i will make a free video on the nmr spectroscopy where i will uh, explain this thing in more detail so for this question solving purpose i think this concept is just enough so hope i am able to solve your problem and if you like the video then please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel